We just beat Sporting Hackney 1 0. Jeff, give us a summary of the game. Um, I think we knew what it was going to be like. I mean, we've played Sporting Hackney enough times um, to know their um, danger men and um, how they were going to play and how they were going to set up. And we know with the condition of the pitch and how it is at this time of the year, it was going to be a potentially a scrappy affair. So then we had to make sure the team was our formation was right and we don't get caught out. And we were on the right side of any sort of um, of a win. Um, it could come down to one bit of quality, which um, Julian showed. Um, could we probably scored a couple at the end, potentially. But I'm just proud of the boys that we could put in a. Um, a performance like this because we haven't done it in a while where we just dig in and did what we have to do and everyone to a man subs everyone that came on did exactly what was asked for them and and that's how we came away with a win okay Stu, we won ugly we did that's yeah, my new saying as well as we go again now we? yeah um we won ugly um and it was a bitty game we knew how they were going to play and our squad seems to be chopping and changing all the time does that help us well, yeah, no, ideally we'd, we'd love them in two or three times a week, wouldn't we? And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and everyone will thank you every game, but we've said this so many times, not league, it don't work like that, none of us get paid. Um, there's no, you know, people have lives and work, Sherwin's work away, Josh. Josh is away, we've got Jordan who's injured, um, so our core that we had before. But in saying that, Charlie comes in last oh, outstanding. game, outstanding, last comes in today outstanding. Taff and him look like a fantastic uh, partnership there. Famer and Liam, I'd say everyone, I'd, I'd all single out, but yeah, no, ideally we'd have everyone every week, but we haven't, and that's where games like today, where our backs are at the wall a bit, it gets a bit tasty, the ref's perhaps not on the game as much as he should be, there's a few late tackles going in. Maybe a few weeks ago we would have crumbled, but everyone stood up and yeah. it was a good battling performance there, so yeah, no, brilliant to everyone. But you, um, we knew what kind of side they are, mm -hmm. they are tall, they're physical yep, yep. and they're direct. Yep. Um, did we do enough to counter that in the first half? I, I think so. I think we, well, they were the players we had. <laughs> that's what we've got. Charlie, for someone that's not six foot five, rises yeah, like a salmon, doesn't well. he? He gets up there and, and does really well. And I think we, for me, they had, they had one trick and they kept trying to play it over and we, we held them out. It wasn't silky football was it it wasn't exciting no, as we want to play but we, we you know for us honestly that victory there is one of the best yeah. I've had at Clapton because we ground it out where potentially we could have lost it quite easily but everyone stood tall and yeah fantastic result but it was if we look Jeff I mean, in, in terms of the first half versus the second half the second half did have a different outlook particularly when Lewis came on but we also had kind of the combination of the front four shall we say they were combining and causing kind of trouble. So much so where their right winger was actually playing as an auxiliary right back. Yeah. Was that something that happened over time in terms of intensity or was it something tactically we changed? Um, I wouldn't even say tactically. I remember because we're ahead, they have to change really. We don't have to change anything we're doing, so they have to change. So tactically, they started to push on and left a few more gaps for us to exploit. And we knew that, so that's why we kind of left Lewis later to come on to exploit that space in behind. And obviously, we swapped Arthur, Noah, Lewis at any given time because they, they, they will cause any defence in this league problems. Any problems. And sometimes it takes a switch off, just maybe switching them on either side. Maybe they can get a run at a different fullback, a different aspect. Arthur, instead of going on his right side, coming in on his left to run at them. So so it's always a different sort of aspect that we try and we're always changing things around so we're always we're always thinking at the bench you know um, the four of us you know we work well obviously up for sham's not here but we're always thinking thinking over looking at different things different aspects seeing how we can change it you know Noel eventually went up top um different sort of um, a play to fred fred big shift for, for the first 60 minutes you know forcing them to play out the back um so um yeah it's always going to work well and and like i said we've been drilling them the last three or four weeks drilling them drilling them drilling them and that's what we need because i think if you looked at our previous performance uh, sometimes we're winning off the cuff and sometimes you know it wasn't it wasn't great but we need this sort of performance where everyone comes and comes in knows what they have to do this is the formation we're playing so it's repetitive and consistency that's how you win things consistency yeah um, Stu, was it a convincing victory? How would you classify the victory? A, 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 a ground out victory or a convincing victory? How would you classify it? No, it definitely wasn't a classic or a convincing victory. We, as I say, we, we ground it out there and we said to them before the game that really our league campaign starts again from this game. You know, if we'd have lost today, you know, potentially we've lost a lot of ground on those around us. We've got Stonewall next week. 
coming through a cup game off that, but then we play the big boys again, so it's in our hands again. So today was a huge victory simply for that. that, that Against we promotion rivals. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And again, and just to, yeah, yeah, to get the three points on the board, I think we go second now, which although others got games in hand, it, you know, it's a more points on the board, it's, isn't it? It's yeah. Close, yeah, and, but, yeah, so was it a convincing victory? My blood pressure probably, <laughs> if, you, if you look at that, my heart rate was up and down. We, But that's step seven football, you know, it's, it, they're not professionals these days, so they will make mistakes, but I just, I say, I've said it a few times in this interview, but it's so proud of them, they dug out a result today. Sometimes they're, they're uh, not career-defining, they're, they're season-defining, aren't they? A result like that, you win that, we get some morale, we go against Stoneman next week, and, and we just push on. I remember the first season we had together, we were atrocious the first few months, weren't we? And then we went on that mega run after Christmas, so yeah. it feels like that again, we're, we're, we're positive. Now. Yeah, but Jeff, um, in terms of kind of the team and stability and um, the number of kind of players that we've got, a large squad, is that helpful or is this you know, um, an issue? I think Stu touched on it before, it's like, <laughs> obviously we can't get these players to commit in our 100% because they do have lives and you know, this is technically at the same pro our level, it is a hobby, so you know, every given week, you know, we do a squad call on a Monday um, and we see who's available and then we work with what we've got, so you do need pretty much 24 to a 30 man squad because if you whittle it down, that's maybe two or three for every position, so if two or three are missing, potentially you've got, a, someone's got to play out of, you know, position and it's a, it's a square peg in a round hole, so um, the squad's squad it works well because um, they're, they're a team they're a family you know the group chat isn't just dead on you know on a, um, the whole week you know and then people just say their availability on a Saturday they're all talking through um, a lot of the players you know we try and arrange nights out these these, these little things matter because you can see the sort of the togetherness the you know the camaraderie on the pitch you see those sort of things there so for our squad wise it's good because someone like Charlie you know it comes in and it, it takes a headache of, out of us because Colin unfortunately has got another injury you know Jordan's out so we're, we just want some sort of stability at the back and then we can obviously build on what we've got going forward if, if you notice that when there was on the pitch, should we say a contretemps, I think it is, is, is the term that is used, where the bench came off um, into the fray. It seemed to change the momentum of the game towards us. I mean, somehow it seemed to get off the us. Yeah, um, it, these little things happen, you know, for those that, that play, you know, you know, now it's, now it's, now, you know, now it's pity, now we need to make sure we win, we're not, we can't concede against them now they've done all that, because the tackles were flying in and we just felt that sort of situation there, if the ref snaps it out early, these things don't happen, you've got to keep control of these sort of games, you know, um, earlier on, stamp your authority on the game and that, that sort of thing doesn't happen, but yeah, as I said, off, off the pitch we're a family and, you know, um, you know, it's good to see the subs, you know, because sometimes you can get, you know, players this hard and because everyone wants to play of course but they understand you know they're here to win they're here to you know, join the team and it doesn't get toxic and it's very important okay Stu you're involved not just in the, the playing side also in the ground yep tell us what's happening on the ground yeah well I'd like to still be in the squad if, uh, <laughs> if people get that desperate no we yeah we're doing some um, so for those who don't know I'm involved in the old spotty dog on the trust now trust. with uh, certain people as well and we are closer than we probably ever have been to, to getting back there and uh, if you look on the website the, the old spotty dog trust website and Clacton's website you'll see the pitch the pictures the work that the team have done in the clubhouse um, I can't I feel like I've come in quite late and just pushed it over the line, but the work everyone's done over the last, well, year, two years, three years, um, but particularly in the last bit, we are we are very close and uh, we're going to put some lines on the pitch in the very near future, got some brand new goals. Um, would you want to do a call out for somebody who wants to do the GoPro for that? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah we need someone to do GoPro on the, uh, on the white line machine, so I've got some friends from my day job that are going to come down at professionals in there. Uh, in painting pitches, uh, painting pitches, painting lines, and marking out the pitch. We're going to have UEFA style grass cutting, so that'll be two shades all the way through, um, and the lines will be perfectly straight. Look at some of these, I think they go a bit like that. So, um, but yeah, we're still trying to raise a little bit more money as well for the clubhouse. Nearly so there. please go on, yeah, amazing again. Um, and I'm, I'm 16,000 so far, yeah. right? Um, amazing. We're 9,000 away from hitting our target. So yeah, it's, it's amazing. I'm, I'm always humbled by the fact that people put their hand in the pocket and help us out. But yeah. honestly, that first game back there, you know, you look at the atmosphere today, uh, we love the straight dog, don't we? Yeah. We look at the atmosphere today, but that, them games down there, especially if we can sort of sneak in before the end of the season, might be the difference between us 
getting promoted and going up. So thank you to everyone that's helped. The volunteers particularly who have helped out uh, from daisy picking, weed picking, smashing stuff up. Uh, thank you, can't say that enough. So thank you for that. Okay. Um, Jeff, um, Sorry, tomorrow yeah. is the uh, women's game in the main stadium for the first yeah. time ever. You're coming? Um, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be I'll there. Be there. Um, you know, it's a big game. I think it's against Bromley. Um, so it's yes, it's against Bromley. Top of the table yeah. clash. So it'd be great if, uh, if anyone could have popped their head, pop down, and you know, kind of support the women's team. As we saw a few, I think Susanna was here today yeah. as well. And Claudio was here. Yeah, today. Claudio was here. So yeah. yeah, so if we can get down and you know help them, it's just like the FA Cup run. You know, it's another big game. So you know, and as I said, they're in the stage, and we're all one big family. We all try our yeah. best, you know, to support each other when we can. So if you are local, um, please pop down. You know, let's give the support so we can obviously get them across the line. Yep. Um, last shout out to you, Jeff. Right? A message for the fans. Yes, um, obviously, first and foremost, obviously, I want to thank everyone who kind of sent their condolences because obviously, I was away last week. Um, I was in Ghana for my dad's funeral. But for those who know my dad as well, he was a big Clapton fan. He was the last sort of momentous sort of games he's been there. I mean, 2014 Burnham, he was there, Cup final, he was there. Hilltop when we won, here when we won the final. Um, so the last game of the season um, against Roast. Roast. Yeah, yeah he was there, there, and obviously whenever he could, he always made it down. So um, obviously it's a shame he won't be here when the dog opens up, but I'm sure he'll be watching. Um, you know, because he was a massive, massive Clapton fan, massive Clapton fan. So again, we have to thank all the fans who came down today. You know, we can't appreciate it enough. We say it every week, it seems that, like, but we have to. You know, we appreciate them, and that's why we do the handshakes at the end. You know, it's the least we can do for their um, momentous, kind of their, their support, which they do throughout the 90 minutes. You know, banging the drum and singing for 90 minutes, regardless of the result. So we'd like to thank them always, as always, and you know, we're here for them as they're here for us.